safe in Chinese hands, at least for the moment. The Olympic torch arrives in Tiananmen Square. From president to Olympic hero, the flame is passed at the start of its journey around the globe. But this high-profile reception, despite the show, was low-key by Chinese standards. It was invited guests only. Security was tight. It was a nervy affair. China didn't want a repeat of the disturbances in Athens. Here, near the Gate of Heavenly Peace, that was easy to ensure. But soon the torch begins its world tour. Pro-Tibetan supporters say they will disrupt its progress. China calls the tour the journey of harmony, but the flame has become a beacon of discontent for those unhappy with China's handling of the riots in Tibet. China's enthusiasm for the games is undiminished. It wants the rest of the world to forget about politics and focus on the competition. Well, it will be very difficult to forget about politics because every time that the torch arrives in a new city, whether it's Paris or London or San Francisco, it will become a focal point for those protests, for those anti-Chinese feelings, and for people who want to complain about the way China is governing Tibet and for the lack of press freedom in this country.